We heard that Meghan and Harry are going to separate and the truth will come out. They did separate from Spotify and some truth about how people at Spotify thought of them came out. Then there was the prediction that Meghan had an affair with a bodyguard and that he'll expose the truth. It would be the end for Harry and Meghan, still waiting. Other than the fact that we all know they're money-hungry liars and more than happy to throw their family, or at least the royal family, under the bus, some people believe Archie and Lilibet don't exist. But Lady C said last month that the truths are completely exposed in summer this year. Spring ends and summer begins on the summer solstice, which is the 20th or the 21st of June. This is the official definition, so most of June is in spring. She'll release a book in June or thereabouts. She's hinted at Meghan's past sleazy behaviour, bad behaviour in the palace, use of surrogates, substance taking, Doria's past, etc. And she even has phone number of Meghan's obstetrician. In the past, there were rumours that Meghan Markle's dad said that she'd had a hysterectomy in her late 20s, so there are no kids. Gavin Gingras and Hartford Schroeder are the kids seen in photos Meghan and Harry have released. But recently, a source leaked on Blind Item that Dr. Melissa Drake, who's rumoured to hide Meghan's delivery, will be a witness for Lady C's new book. Dr. Melissa Drake delivered the royal infant while Dr. Gauri Mova assisted in Archie's delivery by providing remote support from overseas. But only a little more than a year after becoming famous for presiding over most highly anticipated birth of 2021, Drake has made a bombshell statement that's making news throughout the world. According to the Daily Mail, Dr. Melissa Drake, who delivered Queen Elizabeth II's great-grandchild, Lilibet Diana, has abruptly walked away from Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital without notice. The announcement that she was shuttering her practice was shared on Instagram, with comments turned off on the now viral post. Patients immediately expressed their dismay over the sudden closure. Also, does anyone find it odd that no one knew who Meghan's OBGYN was until the story came out? Meghan has always said, my children aren't public property, so back off, or something like that. Not to mention Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand wrote in Finding Freedom that a particular UK doctor oversaw Archie's birth, but the doctor's husband allegedly came out and said that his wife didn't deliver Archie as she wasn't working that day. Could it be possible that Dr Drake has some juicy secrets about Meghan's kids that she doesn't want to get out? Anything is a possibility here. We've also questioned whether Meghan secretly gave birth. The shocking news comes after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been tarnished for life by the brutal lazy grifters, label assigned to them by a Spotify executive, according to a royal commentator. Last year, executives at Spotify were left underwhelmed with Meghan's Archetypes podcast, which explored stereotypes used against women. In June 2023, it was announced that the couple's deal with Spotify had been cancelled. Shortly after, Bill Simmons, the head of podcast innovation and monetization at the company, blasted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, calling them grifters. Royal commentator Tom Bauer claimed the scathing comments from the Spotify executive have damaged Meghan and Harry's reputation. Bauer told Closer, Of course they've lost their big Spotify contract, one of the big contracts that was clearly going to be their basis for fame. The grifters' line has tarnished them for life. 